Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about some more Halloween content that's going to be arriving in Grand Theft Auto Online shortly, likely around October and the Halloween season. The other day, we talked about how there was going to be a Phantom Car random event. It was going to be based on the infamous Fury Fury scene from the 1983 film Christine where Plymouth Fury chases Buddy in a roar of flames. Rockstar was going to be doing that with the De Classe Tornado. It was going to be taking place in Palito Bay. We talked about that, and I will leave a link to that video in the description. Well, the same user who actually found that has revealed another new Halloween event that is going to be happening. This is so cool. So this, again, is coming from MonkeyPolice188 over on Twitter. I'll leave a link to his page in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. He said, another upcoming Halloween random event in hashtag GTA Online. A new slasher event features four different killers. The driver, psycho, clown, and sack slasher. This doesn't appear to be an adversary mode like the slasher modes, but an actual free mode event. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then we can actually take a look at the four new characters that are going to be coming. Starting from left to right, you can see the driver is in like a racing suit with blood all over him. And this like creepy like Freddy Krueger style mask. So that's kind of crazy. Then you've got the clown right there who's basically in like a glorified Epsilon suit uh, with the clown mask and stuff like that. You've got the sack slasher who looks like a bug star outfit, but with the sack on his head. And then you've got the psycho who's got the butchery and other hobbies shirt and a creepy mask. Needless to say, these are all going to be creepy characters that are going to be appearing. Now, there was even more follow up to that from Monkey Police. He said the different slashers each have their own weapon during the event. The driver is going to have a wrench. That makes sense. The clown switchblade also makes sense. The sack slasher a machete makes sense too. And the psycho is going to have a baseball bat. So each of them are going to be armed and are going to have a weapon. And then the last bit of follow-up, he said they also have their own unique sounds, including when they spawn and despawn. That is also very interesting.
So those are all the sounds that you just heard right there. So Rockstar actually went into a lot of detail to pull this off. Now, the only other follow-up we got here from Monkey Police 188 someone asked him, Sack Slasher is a new boiler suit, right? A new color anyways, not a new model. And he said, this is a pedestrian with different clothing variations. I think the Sack Slasher and all the others on second thought is, yeah, just a combination of various player outfit options, but as a ped. So that explains why you might have seen those looks before, but not all of them all together. So that is pretty interesting, I will say. Now, it kind of makes me wonder how this is going to work. If I had to take a wild guess, I'm going to say it's probably going to be like a version of a randomized serial killer because uh, I would imagine, obviously, all these are very scary. They're going to be appearing at random times and come after you. Now, the thing that I think this sounds most familiar to is the mugger. So this is an option that players have if they call Lamar Davis. They can send a mugger after a specific player for $1,000 after reaching level 50. And essentially what happens is the mugger spawns in with a knife and they will rush the target player. And once the mugger is called, the targeted player will be knocked down by the mugger and will have up to $10,000 stolen if they have not deposited their money into their account. Now, after update 1.16, the cash stolen will vary depending on the player's level, though no cash will be stolen if it's deposited. So I'm imagining it's going to work something like that. And to get players even more interested in it, I would also bet that there's likely some monetary reward or exclusive item tied to defeating these serial killers. If I had to take a bet, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, and I would imagine that there might be different rewards for taking out each one, like the driver and the sack slasher and the clown, stuff like that. Uh, the psycho too. You never know. I think this is going to be a really fun event. I'm excited to see how Rockstar is going to uh, introduce this into the game. But Halloween is getting very, very exciting here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Are you looking forward to all the Halloween events that look like are going to be happening soon here in GTA Online, including this one, which looks like it's some variation of a handful of serial killers. Uh, let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.